The idea of an infinite universe leads to Albers paradox. The first written idea of the infinite universe comes from Thomas Digges in 1576. Newton himself was also aware of the problems of his own infinite universe because it would be filled with an infinite amount of light or radiation and an infinite amount of the gravitational force. 200 years after Newton's time, Wilhelm Alber phrased the problem very clearly. As you move out from the Earth, the number of stars in any spherical shell increases according to the distance squared. The surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. But the light from each star goes down as the square of the distance. These two factors exactly cancel, which means that the light moving outward from the Earth in any spherical shell is constant. And as the number of shells goes out as you move further away, the light continues to increase and becomes infinite in an infinite universe. Another way of looking at this is to imagine that in an infinite universe, in any direction that you look in the sky, eventually your sight line will hit a star. So surely the night sky should be filled with light, ablaze with light, yet we know that it is dark. This is Albert's paradox.